Greetings in the name of Jesus today. Thank you for tuning in to Notes for the Morning. Central theme is the action of the good soldier of Jesus Christ in the battle between the old man and the new man. We had previously discussed the armor of God in the month of March, but now that we're in the month of April, we are dealing with the action of the believer. There are two areas of action for the believer in this battle. One is the posture of defense, and the second one is the posture of offense. The posture of defense, number one, is for the warrior to be prepared. As, as I had previously mentioned, there are four steps in the preparation process. The first one is conviction. The good soldier of Jesus Christ must understand the nature of the old man that lives or abides within him. Secondly, there must be a consideration made before God to be transparent before God that there may be sins in my life that I've not identified. There may be self-justifications have, that have taken place that uh, that I even believe the lie after telling it so much. And then thirdly is a confession. Once the sin has been identified and revealed, now we're talking about being prepared, a conviction, a consideration, and then a confession of the sin that has been revealed to the good soldier. And then fourthly, there must be a consecration. And there are many steps of preparation in being consecrated for the service of God. But this morning we want to look at the first step, and that is a conviction. What we mean by that is the conviction of sin that remains, the old man that remains in the man that knows God. He has the new nature, he's a new creature, and yet the old man resides in the soul, and it is lust. And so in Ephesians 4 and 22, the description that Paul gives of the old man is very important. He is corrupt according to deceitful lust. The old man's nature of lust is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. The old man's goal is to kill, steal, and destroy the child of God, his testimony. And secondly, he desires to deceive the child of grace. And thirdly, he desires to rule and reign once again in the spirit of the believer. Now, to understand what we're talking about this morning, it is that we've got to acknowledge the old man is still with us. And in chapter 7 of Romans, we do not have the time this morning to read it all. But I think it's very important that Paul, Paul made it important that it was the law that reveals the sin that is in us. In chapter 7, verse 7, he says, what shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I have not known sin, but by the law, for I had not known lust, except the law had said, thou shalt not covet. And so it is important that we understand it is the law of God. That is the standard. And that is the perfection of God. And it, when it's revealed to us, we see that we fall short of that standard, our olive sin, and shall come short of the glory of God. So it's very important that the believer, the warrior, understands that the old man resides within and the goal and the focus of the old man is to take the new man down. And so Paul goes on to explain. He said, was sin, was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid. But sin, that it might appear sin working death in me by that which is good. That sin, by the commandment, might become exceeding sinful. And so he goes on to say, for we know that the law is spiritual, 
but I am carnal, sold under sin. And every man is in that state. We all are born dead in trespasses and sins. And we don't know the difference until we are quickened by the Spirit of God. Our eyes are open and our ears open to the things of God. He said in verse 15, For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But that, but what I hate, that do I. Kind of a tongue twister, isn't it? In verse 16, he says, If then I do that which I would not, I consent that the law under the law, that the law that it is good. In verse 17, Now then it is no more that I do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. So child of grace, the good soldier of Jesus Christ, you need to understand and be convicted that sin remaineth in our flesh. Paul said, For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. For the will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. He concludes, Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more that I do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. So the culprit is sin in us. Even though we are believers, even though we've been made a new creature in Christ, we still have to deal with sin. So we got to be prepared about this very thing. In verse 22, Paul said, For I delight in the law of God after the inward man. But I see another law in my members, warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? Notice this. Paul said, I thank God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. So then with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. And so the first step to be prepared of the good soldier of Jesus Christ, I believe, is to recognize and acknowledge just what Paul is teaching here. Once our eyes have been opened, once our ears have been opened, once we've been given the spirit of truth, we have discernment of what is right and what is wrong, and it becomes effectual to us. Now, we all know that in our conscience, God put in every man the law of God. But you will not acknowledge that. You will shield yourself from it until God brings you to the light. And once you've come to the light, then you realize the real battle that's going on. So how do we get prepared for the battle? The first step is, is to acknowledge that sin dwells within us. And the things we would not, we do not. And the things we do not, we would. Because in the flesh, we desire to serve the law of sin. But in our mind, in the inward man, the new man, he desires to serve the law of God or the law of love. That is that which is pleasing to God. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So what we want to do as children of God, we want to keep the commandments of God. Well, our time has come and gone. These minutes fly by so fast in the morning in these devotions. But brother and sister, we have to go through these steps if we're going to be prepared. We got to realize and acknowledge there is a culprit. There is an enemy that lives within each of us and it is the old man and he's corrupt according to deceitful lust. We must be on guard at all time and realize his goal and his focus is to steal, kill, and destroy our testimony in Christ. Let us pray. Father, we thank you today that we can acknowledge this first step in our preparation as we stand in the defense of the gospel. Father, we have to be in a posture of defense. And to do that, we must be prepared. Lord, prepare us and make us acknowledge that sin dwelleth in our flesh. And this is the war between the old man and the new man. 
let us know, O oh God, and acknowledge that the only victory that we have is through the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, today that I know that I dwell in him and he dwells in me. I thank you, God, to know of that power, of that anointing of Christ rest upon his body, the church. Thank you, Father. Give us power today to receive these words today and acknowledge we do have an enemy and be prepared for all that the old man puts forth toward us before we even go into battle. The doubts, the fears, the discouragement, all of those things that he tries to work on us and make us doubt the promises of God. Be with each person listening to the sound of my voice today. God bless this devotion to our hearts. Encourage us, God, and get us ready for the day's battle. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen.